uh, connections connection string go to mobile storm go to the session create a new SSH session here you need to give only the IP address okay just give the IP address of one of your servers which is going to be a public IP address okay take the public IP address come down to the hosts and specify username what is the default username EC2 hyphen user okay now go to your SSH command use a private key to log in so we will change this behavior also I'll show you how you can change the behavior of your system so that it uh, does not ask you for uh, the key all the time okay ansible underscore key okay so log in in the same fashion we will do it for all the remaining two servers as well okay so come down to this take a deep breath okay so ec2 hyphen user ssh use ansible key you okay so one we are already logged into one and this is the other one let's have a third one also in the same fashion ssh take the third ones uh, details okay so ec2 hyphen user okay so done now all what we have to do is from this server okay so this first one is going to be our control server right so let's just we can rename the tab also if you want to rename so make it as a control server control server so that's why mobile system is very good in for you to you know work on so you can use mobile system just name it as a r1 rs1 and rs2 okay so this is how we will now understand this is how we understand properly that what we have to do now this is rs2 rs-2 okay so what we have now we have got one control server and two remote servers okay so let's just have a multi execution tab open so what multi execution tab will do basically for you is that is going to help you in some ways which is known as what happens in this multi way module whatever you type on one console it gets replicated into other consoles as well very easily okay so let's see a 169 is going to be our what control server remote server the 169 is our 169 is our control server okay so for now we will just disable these two ser servers okay because we want to execute some commands or maybe install the ansible only on the control server first okay let's do that so how do we do that let's go to the instruction file and see what is written in the instruction file please okay so edit the sshd configuration file permit the root login and enable the password authentication as yes okay so where, where do we have to go to, go to this uh, go to this place so but first thing is do not first update yum update okay run sudo su in all of these servers then yum update minus y you enter so now you will see updates running on all the three servers continuous so you don't have to now go and switch the tabs you can have one more here okay that is why this is very good so let the let this finish uh, once this is done we will then uh, do the other thing so the first thing for any ec2 server or any server first thing what you have to do is run the updates running the updates very important because maybe some packages are not installed there this way it will install those packages 
for you see how many packages are updating right now <coughs> all of these packages so python is already 2.7 was already there now we need not to install python separately because in that update they have already given a python python package okay so that is the uh, you know that's why this is very important you see for all the servers the python package will be up to person so what i told you is the requirement for ansible 2.6 about 2.6 okay it is already 2.7 also we need not to do it separately because that's why red hat is very important for you to understand how to work with red hat okay so now the updates are done okay there is no further update if i want to run it once again there is no further update okay so the updates have been done let's clear the screen and uh, disable the other two terminals for now and only work on the control terminal okay so 169 with this private ip 169 is our control terminal okay so let's follow the instruction so it says that first we need to go to this path so that we are able to edit the sshd configuration okay let's edit the ssh configuration enable the login using the password okay go to this file and then go down in this and this is basically common for everything let's just have it for everything okay this is common for each and every server this is this i'm just going to go out from it and run this command once again what is this command vi okay so if i paste it it does not come in the other terminals okay so we i what is the path at c ssh and sshd okay at c ssh sshd underscore config okay you enter so here come down and check for uh password authentication okay so permit root login i need to enable that is first thing okay enabling means deleting the hash in the front of it so i have deleted the hash in front of it that is one thing and second thing what i need to do is uh, permit root login is one thing other thing is enable password authentication that means next time onwards when i want to go inside of this system i need not to give the ssh key so this is the way in linux to change that behavior of giving the ssh key always okay now come down and see the password authentication will be somewhere down here you yes, see here okay password authentication by default it will be commented so you have to just press delete uncommented so now it will so help. Like this, the password 